Hey guys, it's Najee the Cars fan here, and today I'm just gonna show you a tutorial on how to make your stop motion smoother. Also, I'm doing this because um, you might have seen one of my recent stop motions. They were a lot smoother, like there are 24 frames per second. So I decided that I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to make your stop motions very smooth by using the 24 frames per second. Now this tutorial, this tutorial has already made it's already done by Cars and Planes Diecast reviewer. I'll put a link in the description. So um yeah it's, it's 15 frames per second but this one's different because yeah the 24 frames per second is definitely the most important here. So let's just get started with the tutorial here. So for example you have this phone, and you got this right here, and then you have to need the car. I chose Conrad Camber for an example, and then all you need to do is, if you want to, you want to make your car drive, right? So um, you press this red button, you already know, and then you just move your car. A little bit and then you press it again and then you'll continue to move the car a little bit and press the red button this is much easier when you don't do it with your hands or have to record a video and to make your car move with your hands because that would be just dumb like Cars and Place Diecast viewers said on this tutorial. Just move your car a little bit and then hit the red button means to take a picture by frame by frame Let's see. And there you go. That is how you make your stop motions even smoother with a 24 frame per second run. So that is how you do it. And that's it. Hope this helps. But if it doesn't help, then you might have already watched Cars and Planes Diecast reviewers. Um, tutorial on how to make stop motion sm smoother with 15 frames per with a 50 frames per second run but i hope i hope this one helps so uh, i hope this helps into making better stop mm -hmm. motion episodes so i'll see you guys um in the next video see ya